This is a 1999 Plymouth Grand Voyager, and it's not just any Plymouth Grand Voyager. I am going to say it twice and over enunciate it just so that you can understand, and this video can stretch to 30 minutes and helps the algorithm. This is the minivan from Pimp My Ride. Yes, this is the minivan from Pimp My Ride, and today we're going to review it. Now, unless you weren't born yet or you lived under a rock in the mid 2000s, you are probably well aware of the television show Pimp My Ride, where this van was birthed. The premise was very simple. You would take a person's car that was beat up and customize it based on the latest trends and their personal tastes. And this van was customized with numerous quirks and features. So many quirks and features that I can barely contain myself. So let's take you on a tour of all the quirks and features of this 1999 Plymouth Grand Voyager. Clearly, this is the most significant car that I have ever reviewed in all of my existence. And a big thank you to the owner, Hoovy's Garage, who has the most impressive car collection I have ever seen for letting me see this van. Now, I'm starting in the back, where normally minivans would haul stuff, but not this minivan. It has... Oh, the quirks. Oh, four televisions. Two amplifiers, four subwoofers. Oh, oh, okay, I'm gonna get through this. We're, we're, we're gonna get through this. Sorry, I've just never seen so many quirks and features in my entire life in one vehicle. It's a little overwhelming. So let's move on to the interior of this van. And it's, oh. I am six foot four, or six foot three, or six foot. Six. I'm six foot four inches tall, and this back seat would fit me perfectly. And it's covered in denim and a footrest for the TV and a laser light show. Oh, a jewelry making station. Oh. Okay, enough dugging out here. God, how does he? How does he do this? This is just. Too many layers, Doug. How can you breathe? How can you breathe? Oh, now, as you all know, there's a long list of cars that I've always wanted to own. I've bought a lot of them, but there's still an endless list to go. But nowhere to be found on that list would be a 1999 Plymouth Grand Voyager. But that didn't stop my friend Freddy's Varsh Hernandez from giving me this orphan branded Dodge Caravan for Christmas. And to be honest, I am totally thrilled. Still, I wanted to figure out how generous he was, so I'm going to take this van to CarMax for an appraisal to see what they think this amazing piece of cultural history is worth. Pimp My Ride certainly earned its place in history for making these amazing transformations out of hoopties. I mean, this thing has nine televisions in it, a bead making station, mood lighting, a laser light show, denim upholstery, a suede headliner, all in a Plymouth Grand Voyager. It's absolutely insane. And really, I would credit this car series for taking car customization mainstream. It was such a phenomenon that even my dad, a pretty conservative Midwestern businessman, took his Cadillac Escalade and put 22s on it and subwoofers. Back in the mid 2000s, I never thought I would ever see a Pimp My Ride car in person, let alone own one, but now I do, and it is totally awesome. But even more excited than me was my daughter. I surprised her by picking her up from school in this car, and her entire class came out, climbed all over the thing, and went nuts. They loved it. And you all seem to love this van, too. And Freddie bought it for $850 after being abandoned for years, sitting in a parking lot in Boston. I doubt he expected the response that he was going to get with this thing. Restoring this van over the course of 48 hours and then giving it to me netted him something like 15 million views and 200,000 new subscribers in the span of a week, which is absolutely insane. It's almost unheard of. And even more unheard of is this van was number one on YouTube trending, which I don't think any car YouTuber has ever done before. Incredible. Freddie's a really talented guy and entertaining, but the van clearly struck a chord with you people. And the overwhelming response in the comment section was, I did not deserve this van 
at all. I didn't need it. Why give this car to another YouTuber who has too many cars when you could have given this pimped van to somebody who actually needed it or sent it to Africa to feed starving kids or something? Why give it to me? And for once, I completely agree with the comment section. You are absolutely right. Totally right. <laughs> This van was a very generous gift from Freddy and he gave it to me because my wife is expecting a child and he thought I could use a minivan but he didn't really think through the customization part because nowhere on that rear sofa back there is any anchor for a car seat and honestly I have no use for this minivan at all you all are absolutely right so I need to find the right place for it. Really this car is a work of art and an important piece of millennial history so it belongs in a museum, it, it, it does. But before you put art in a museum, you have it appraised first, which is why now we are heading to CarMax to get this van appraised. They'll offer you a dollar figure on any car, anything, as long as you bring it to them for them to look at, and it's good for seven days or a hundred miles, I think. So we'll see what CarMax has to say about the Pimp My Ride van. All right, I'm back with their appraisal, and the average value of a 1999 Plymouth Grand Voyager is next to nothing. But this van is very special. It has custom denim interior, nine televisions, a disco floor, lots of stuff. And I showed up at CarMax right at a shift change, so this thing had crowds of CarMax employees around it looking at it that remembered and loved to pimp my ride. It was a lot like when I picked up my first grader and her entire class came out and climbed all over the car. It was hilarious. But anyway, all that pimpage added quite a bit of value. And the value is, well, I haven't begged for subscribers yet shamelessly, which is a perfect time to beg for subscribers, to sit here and beg and beg and beg until you hit the button down below, because I'm not going to tell you until you hit the button. Have you hit the button yet? No? You're not going to. Okay, well, the value is $1,500 hundred dollars, which is pretty generous, I thought, of CarMax for a 1999 Plymouth Grand Voyager with 130,000 miles on it. Now, it is very hard to put a value on something with this much cultural importance and rich heritage. Really, it does belong in a museum, so I reached out to a few museums. The first one was the Smithsonian, the Air and Space Museum, and they promised me a spot right between the Space Shuttle and the Spirit of St. Louis, but, you know, that just wasn't good enough for me. I reached out to the Louvre in France, and they said they would put it right next to the Mona Lisa, which is very generous and probably good enough, but I wanted better. So instead, I'm going to drive it now to its final resting place where all of the world can come and see this van. It's just a few hours away, so let's hit the road. All right, we have arrived at its final resting place. The Midwest Dream Car Collection. You said but, final resting place, are you killing yeah. your car? No, <laughs> I'm not, Drew. Got better take that is impressive. You have officially been pimped. So y'all remember my friend Drew Casper, the miracle wonder boy. Yes. And this is Doug, director of vehicle operations here at the Midwest Dream Car Collection. And they are gladly accepting this van. K-State Purple. Oh, I didn't even think about it being K-State Purple, but yes, I expect this to be the Hope Diamond of your dream car collection. Blue jeans interior. Yeah, denim oh, seats. check out the ceiling, man. Ignore the slight stains. Yeah, there's a laser light show going on in the top. And I don't, yeah, that's, that's not a door you should open. Um, here, go, come to the other side. Climb on in. You have a lounge, whole couch back there. Should I sit? Yes, the television is a footrest. It's protected. Okay. And it'll raise up for you if you'd like. Is that, okay like is, is that comfortable? <laughs> is that comfortable? Is that better? So I am going to donate this to the Midwest Dream Car Collection for wow. display. But there's, there's one caveat. In 10 years, my daughter has made me promise that I won't sell this van, so I'm not selling it. I'm donating it. But she wants it to be her first car. Okay. And I'm hoping in 10 years she grows out of it and she changes her mind, but we do have to offer it to her in 10 years when she reaches driving age. All right? Okay. By, by the time that she reaches high school, I have a feeling she won't want to drive a 
minivan to high school, at least hopefully. Look what it's doing to his hair. Yeah. This is awesome. <laughs> All right, well, enjoy it. I and can't believe you're giving this to us. This, this really belongs in, you know. In a museum. We really appreciate you giving us this car. Uh, I guess we are now becoming the Midwest Dream pimped van collection. Yes, I do see this Be van over here. Yeah, we do have a van of our own. Multiple vans. Yes, the Game of Thrones themed or pre-Game of Thrones six by six real pimp van. This is unbelievable. <laughs> it's basically a limousine. Yeah, but the car wizard would definitely appreciate the paint job and the motif. Look at the wizard on here. So when I come back, I fully expect my van to be up on this pedestal rotating right here. Okay. Right? Yeah. And then all of the world can come to the Midwest Dream Car Collection in Manhattan, Kansas, and view the crown jewel of exactly. your collection. I, I love it. That is a great idea. Not a Ford GT, an Aventador, a Prowler, a Superbird. 1999 Plymouth Grand Voyager from Pit My Ride. <laughs> I love it. Thank you for watching.